Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, and today we are diving deep into one of the most pressing issues facing Iran and much of the Middle East water scarcity. Iran, a country known for its rich history, ancient cities, and diverse landscapes, is now facing a crisis that threatens its agriculture, economy, and daily life. Water, a resource many of us take for granted, has become a matter of survival here. The problem of water scarcity in Iran is not new. It has been building over decades due to a combination of natural and human factors. Iran is largely an arid and semi-arid country, meaning it naturally receives less rainfall compared to other regions. On average, Iran's annual rainfall is less than a third of the global average, and much of it is concentrated in just a few months. This irregular rainfall pattern makes it difficult for farmers, cities, and industries to plan and manage water resources effectively. One major factor worsening the situation is climate change. Rising temperatures and changing weather patterns have led to prolonged droughts across the country. Lakes and rivers that once provided reliable sources of freshwater are now shrinking or disappearing entirely. For example, the famous Lake Ermia, once the largest saltwater lake in the Middle East, has lost over 90% of its water in recent decades due to drought and mismanagement. The ecological consequences of this are catastrophic, impacting biodiversity and local livelihoods. Human activity has also significantly contributed to the water crisis. Overextraction of groundwater for agriculture is a common practice in Iran. Farmers rely heavily on underground water to grow crops like wheat, rice, and pistachios. However, the rate at which groundwater is being extracted far exceeds the natural replenishment rate, leading to falling water tables and drying wells. In some regions, this has caused the land to sink, a phenomenon known as land subsidence, which damages infrastructure and makes the land less suitable for agriculture. Urbanization and population growth further increase the demand for water. Cities like Tehran, Isfahan, and Mashhad are home to millions of people, all of whom require water for domestic use, sanitation, and industry. Unfortunately, the existing water supply infrastructure is often outdated and inefficient, resulting in significant losses through leakage and wastage. Moreover, Conflicts between different sectors, such as agriculture, industry, and urban consumption, make equitable water distribution extremely challenging. Iran's government has attempted to address the crisis through a variety of measures. Large-scale dam projects, for instance, have been built to store and regulate water, while dams like Karan and Kark, he, provide hydroelectric power and irrigation. They also come with negative consequences. Dams disrupt natural river flow, affecting downstream ecosystems, and can accelerate the drying of lakes. Additionally, some projects have been criticized for favoring urban or industrial water needs over agricultural or ecological considerations. Desalination has emerged as another solution in coastal areas. Turning seawater into freshwater offers a way to supplement water supplies, especially for cities along the Persian Gulf and the Caspian Sea. However, desalination is expensive and energy intensive, and it often produces harmful brine waste that can damage marine ecosystems. Despite these drawbacks, Iran is investing in desalination plants to meet the growing demand for clean water. Water scarcity is also affecting agriculture, a critical sector for Iran's economy and food security. Farmers are forced to switch to less water, intensive crops or abandon traditional farming altogether. Pistachio orchards, rice paddies, and wheat fields are particularly vulnerable. This has led to economic losses, increased unemployment in rural areas, and even social unrest in some regions. In certain provinces, people are migrating to cities in search of better living conditions, further straining urban water systems. Social and political factors play a role as well. 
water distribution is often a source of tension between provinces. Some regions receive more government support or have better access to rivers and aquifers, while others face chronic shortages. Protests and demonstrations over water scarcity have occurred in cities like Khuzestan, highlighting the severity of the crisis and the frustration of affected populations. Pollution adds another layer of complexity. Industrial effluence, untreated sewage, and agricultural runoff contaminate rivers and lakes, reducing the availability of clean water. For instance, heavy metal contamination in some regions makes water unsafe for consumption and irrigation. This forces communities to rely on bottled water or costly purification systems, increasing financial burdens on families and businesses. Iran's water crisis is not just a local issue, it has regional and global implications. Many of Iran's rivers cross international borders, affecting neighboring countries like Iraq and Afghanistan. Water scarcity can exacerbate tensions over shared resources, leading to political disputes and potential conflict. Furthermore, Iran's water situation provides a cautionary example for other arid nations facing similar challenges. Technology and innovation offer some hope. Advanced irrigation methods, such as drip irrigation and precision agriculture, help reduce water waste and increase crop yields. Smart water management systems, which use sensors and data analytics to monitor usage, are being tested in some urban areas. Additionally, public awareness campaigns encourage people to conserve water in their daily lives. These initiatives, while promising, need widespread adoption to make a significant impact. Cultural and behavioral change is equally important. Traditional water-saving practices, such as Canat, sentient underground channels that transport water from mountains to settlements, have sustained communities for centuries. Reviving and modernizing, these methods could help alleviate pressure on modern water infrastructure. Individuals can also contribute by reducing water consumption, repairing leaks, and using water-efficient appliances. Despite the challenges, some regions in Iran have managed to make progress. Cities that have invested in wastewater recycling and reuse programs are able to supply water for irrigation and industrial use without depleting freshwater sources. Urban green spaces and community gardens are being designed to use less water, and some industries are adopting clothes, loop water systems to minimize waste. These examples demonstrate that with careful planning and commitment, water scarcity can be managed more effectively. Education and research are critical to long-term solutions. Iranian universities and research centers are studying climate change, hydrology, and sustainable agriculture to provide data-driven policies. Collaboration with international organizations can also bring in expertise, funding, and technology to improve water management, policy reforms that encourage efficiency, fair distribution, and environmental protection are essential to prevent the crisis from worsening. Economic factors cannot be ignored. Water scarcity affects industries like food processing, textiles, and energy production. As water becomes more limited, production costs increase, which can lead to inflation and economic instability. Ensuring affordable access to water for households while maintaining industrial productivity is a delicate balance that Iran must achieve. Looking ahead, the outlook is challenging but not hopeless. Scientists predict that unless significant measures are taken, Iran could face even more severe water shortages in the coming decades. Droughts are expected to become more frequent and intense, and population growth will continue to increase demand. Proactive strategies, including better water allocation, investment in sustainable infrastructure, and public cooperation, will be crucial in avoiding a full-blown crisis. It is also important to consider the human dimension. 
Water scarcity affects daily life in profound ways. People spend hours collecting water in some rural areas. Schools and hospitals struggle to function without reliable water. Agriculture, dependent communities face food insecurity. These hardships underscore the urgency of addressing the problem not only at the policy level, but also through grassroots action. International attention and support can make a difference. Water scarcity in Iran is part of a larger global challenge, with millions of people worldwide facing similar conditions. By sharing knowledge, technology, and best practices, countries can learn from each other to manage water resources more sustainably. Collaborative efforts, both regionally and globally, are essential in addressing a problem that does not respect borders. Ultimately, the story of water scarcity in Iran is a story about resilience, adaptation, and the need for sustainable management. The crisis highlights the interconnectedness of natural resources, human activity, and governance. While the situation is severe, there are paths forward. With coordinated action, innovative solutions, and societal commitment, Iran can mitigate the effects of water scarcity and build a more sustainable future. Every individual has a role to play. Conserving water at home, supporting policies that prioritize sustainability, and raising awareness are all small steps that contribute to a larger solution. The crisis may seem daunting, but collective action can lead to meaningful change. Communities, governments, and industries must work together to ensure that future generations have access to the water they need to thrive. In conclusion, Iran's water scarcity is a complex issue driven by climate, geography, human activity, and governance challenges. It affects agriculture, urban life, health, and the economy, making it one of the most critical issues of our time. While the situation is alarming, proactive measures, technological innovations, and public cooperation provide hope. By understanding the causes, impacts, and potential solutions, we can appreciate the urgency of the problem and the importance of responsible water management. Water is life, and in Iran, every drop count. As we follow this unfolding crisis, it becomes clear that sustainable water management is not just an environmental issue, it is a social, economic, and political imperative. The coming years, will be crucial in determining whether Iran can overcome its water scarcity challenges or face even greater hardships.